The new holy of holies, why is the Eucharist so powerful, unveiling the sacred mystery that will transform your faith? Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. In the ancient world, the Holy of Holies was the most revered and feared place on earth, a sanctuary where God's presence resided, accessible only to the high priest and only once a year. Approaching this sacred space without divine permission meant certain death, a stark reminder of God's holiness and the gravity of sin. But with the coming of Jesus Christ, this divine mystery took on a new form. Christ's sacrificial death tore the veil that separated humanity from the divine, opening a new pathway to God. As Hebrews 9.24 reveals, For Christ did not enter a sanctuary made with human hands that was only a copy of the true one. He entered heaven itself, now to appear for us in God's presence. In this new covenant, the Eucharist becomes the new Holy of Holies, a sacred place where we encounter the living God, not in fear, but in a profound and joyful communion. In the Eucharist, we meet Christ truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity. This isn't a mere symbol, it is a real and transformative encounter. As Jesus said in John 6, 55-56, For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Through the Eucharist, we are invited to partake in the divine life, to experience a union with Christ that is both intimate and powerful. This sacred encounter is not just a privilege, it is a profound responsibility. St. Paul's warning in 1 Corinthians 11.27 serves as a solemn reminder, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of profaning the body and blood of the Lord. The Eucharist demands a heart prepared, a soul cleansed, and a spirit willing to receive the grace it offers. The rewards of approaching the Eucharist with reverence and love are immeasurable. It is the bread of life that nourishes our soul, the grace that empowers us to overcome sin, and the promise of eternal life. Jesus assures us in John 6:54, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. The Eucharist is a foretaste of heaven, a moment where earth touches the divine. But to neglect the Eucharist, to fail to prepare oneself for this sacred encounter, is to miss out on the greatest gift God has given us. St. Teresa of Avila reminds us of the seriousness of this neglect. In the presence of Jesus in the Holy Sacrament, we ought to be like the blessed in heaven before the divine essence. The Eucharist is not just a ritual, it is a direct and tangible meeting with the living God. The grace of the Eucharist extends beyond the Mass. Jesus, present in the Blessed Sacrament, waits for us in the tabernacle, inviting us to visit Him, to spend time in His presence. Though our eyes may not see Him, faith assures us of His real and abiding presence. St. Alphonsus Liguori captures this beautifully. The time you spend with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament is the best time you will spend on earth. In these moments of quiet adoration, we encounter the same Christ who walked the earth, who healed the sick, and who gave his life for our salvation. Visiting the Blessed Sacrament is not just an act of devotion, it is an encounter with the Divine. It is an opportunity to draw near to the heart of God, to receive his love and grace in abundance. St. Teresa of Calcutta puts it poignantly, When you look at the crucifix, you understand how much Jesus loved you then. When you look at the sacred host, you understand how much Jesus loves you now. History bears witness to the power of this sacred mystery. In Lanciano, Italy, a doubting priest witnessed the consecrated host turn into human flesh and the wine into human blood, a miracle confirmed by science, revealing the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. These miracles are not just relics of the past, they are testimonies to the living reality we encounter every time we approach the Blessed Sacrament. To neglect this opportunity, to fail to visit Jesus in the tabernacle, is to miss out on a treasure of grace. As St. John Paul II emphasized, the Church and the world have a great need of Eucharistic worship. Jesus waits for us in this sacrament of love. Developing the habit of visiting the Blessed Sacrament strengthens our faith, 
deepens our love for Christ and prepares us to receive the Eucharist with greater reverence and devotion. In this new covenant, the Eucharist is the Holy of Holies, accessible not just to a select few, but to all who approach with faith, reverence, and love. It is a place where heaven meets earth, where the divine and human embrace. Let us then make it a habit to visit Jesus in the tabernacle, to adore him, and to draw from this sacred mystery the strength we need to live our Christian calling. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.